Okay, so now in this video we're going to take multimeter measurements of this circuit. The power is on, but the LED is off. This is a comparator circuit using an LM393 comparator. And uh, that's why I got this component. I think it'll be really good for these 5 volt power supply circuits with a DC. So when I turn the trim pot certain distance, the LED turns on. When I turn it certain distance the other way, it turns off. And uh, it's a certain point where it either turns on or off. Anything else, it just uh, holds in, uh, in that position. So it's comparing the voltage from that to that. So we'll take a look at that coming up. We're just going to take a closer look at the circuit. So these two uh, resistors, which are the same values as this one, they're all 220 ohms to make things easy. They come to the non-inverting pin, as you can see there. They both connect there, but one goes to the positive rail, one goes to the negative rail. So since they're equal value, we should get half of the power source voltage, 2.5 volts. Whereas this one, it has a slider. So the resistive elements on either side of the slider vary based on its position. Okay, so now let's move on to the multimeter measurements. I have the meter set to uh, 20 volts. I have the plug for the red probe. And the voltage, of course, black stays in calm unless we measure capacitance. That's uh, very rare, though. So generally black stays in calm with this meter and most meters it, it's always there and uh, so in any case we'll turn the uh, power on and right now we got zero volts so first thing we're going to do we're going to take the uh, black probe here so I took a jumper wire and then crimped an alligator clip to it an insulated alligator clip and so I can clip that to the probe and we can just plug this into the uh, negative rail that's our ground that's our zero volt reference point whenever we take a voltage measurement of uh, a circuit part versus ground that's where we take our measurement wherever the negative rail whatever connects to the negative rail so we got the uh, red probe here first let's get the power supply voltage we can do that plugging or uh, connecting the probe to anywhere that's connected to the positive side of the power supply. There you can see we have a 5 volt difference at a whole lot of areas. So now we come to the uh, two resistors, the two fixed resistors. There you can see right there, they're plugged into the same row. And uh, screwdriver got in the way. So we will take a measurement there. And you can see we got uh, two and a half volts. So half of the power source voltage. That's because half the resistance is to the positive rail. Half of the resistance is to the negative rail. And uh, let's see how good of a connection I get there. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, make uh, some changes. Try to stay out of the way. And uh, there you can see, even as the output changes, the voltage holds steady there. That's all that pin is doing is measuring the voltage. It uh, practically doesn't influence it at all. Just very tiny amount of uh, current leakage. So now we come to uh, this trim pot here, which plugs into the other input pin, and we'll measure that one directly. So you got to remember the 2.5 volts of these two resistors. Right now, the output, the LED is not on. The output is actually high because the other side of the load is high. The voltage is higher than the other voltage. So now we will, we can even turn this up. There you go. You can see even as we raise the voltage, the LED stays off. Now let's lower it about halfway. And now you see the LED came on a little quicker than the meter read it, but it, uh, it came on. Let's turn the voltage up a little bit. There we go. It went off. So when the voltage is lower here than the fixed uh, voltage, then the LED is on. That's because this input is lower. The output here is now lower than where the uh, power supply is connected to the other side of the load. And uh, that's how it compares voltages and uh, works. So now, the next measurement we're going to take is a current measurement, so to speed things up, I already did it, so set to 2 milliamps or less, that's my lowest setting, and I moved the plug to the milliamp slot, 
I have to hit the power button for this meter. And so, now this, this is floating here. We're going to complete the circuit by attaching the uh, red probe to this jumper. And then uh, I have the trim pot set to uh, turn the LED on, set the output low when I complete the circuit by connecting this. And uh, so I'm going to connect it to the non-inverting pin. There we go. That's where this jumper was plugged in before. Now you can see the LED turns on. That's because the voltage can pass through the uh, meter to that pin. And uh, the pin though is blocking current. So when I make a connection, it senses that voltage, but no current is flowing. If you want to get technical, a trickle is, but uh, it's smaller than what uh, this meter can measure. So we just generally say it's not passing any current.